swift, swift justice. The Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security would like to assure the nation that no stone will be left unturned in bringing the perpetrator of this crime to justice. We are committed to ensuring that those responsible for this senseless act are held accountable. We also want to appeal to members of the public who may have any information related to this case to come forward and assist the police. And the detail, no matter how small, could be crucial in solving this case. The Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security wishes to address the recent claims circulating in the, in the media and among the public alleging that police officers are now involving themselves in criminal activities, including murder. I would like to appreciate the concerns that are being raised by members of the public arising from this gruesome murder, wherein a number of our officers have been involved in this particular case. I would like to assure members of the public that the Zambia Police Service is determined to ensure that rogue police officers are routed out of the Zambia Police Service. I would like to state, just like any other institution, there are usually bad eggs within institutions. We we'll do everything possible to ensure that those who have criminal intentions and those who have been involved in criminal activities are routed out of the police service. In this instance, we would like to appeal to members of the public and other institutions to assist us in this venture. On our own, we may not be able to do it and cleanse the service. It is only through a collaborative effort of all stakeholders that we can clean the Zambia Police Service of rogue elements. I would like to state that there are so many, the majority of Zambia Police officers are professional and they are dedicated to duty, and they will remain so. It is in the interest of all of us to ensure that we provide the requisite support to our men and women in uniform to ensure that they remain professional and provide the requisite support. Members of the public live with our police officers and they know who can be inclined to doing wrong things. We would like to assure members of the public, whistleblowers who may have information, to provide the requisite information and that information will be treated with the confidence it deserves. We understand the apprehension that members of the public have. This particular killing is very unusual in the Zambian setup, where you have hired killers to engage into such activities. It's very unusual. And we'd like to assure members of the public that, uh, as I indicated earlier, we will thoroughly investigate this matter and ensure that uh, such activities are not repeated. First and foremost, we want to affirm that the Zambia Police Service 
is committed to upholding the law, ensuring public safety, and maintaining the highest standards of professional conduct. As I indicated the earlier, the vast majority of officers serve with integrity, dedication, and a strong sense of duty to protect and save the citizens of our country. The evidence of professionalism and integrity can be adduced from the way the officers have handled this matter, where fellow officers are involved. They have not in any way tended to protect fellow officers who have committed a heinous crime. It just shows that we have men and women who are professional. And I'm proud of the officers who have been working on this particular case. For the speed manner, they have managed to resolve this case. Although we have not concluded fully, but we are confident that we are going to ensure that all issues pertaining and surrounding this matter will be resolved. I also want to emphasize that all policy officers who will be found wanting will be dealt with accordingly and appropriately. We want to state that there is no space in the Zambia Police Service for criminal elements. We will not allow officers who engage themselves in criminal activities similar to the one we have just alluded to. And we are remaining committed to ensure that all allegations against the officers in the Zambia Police Service are investigated and concluded to the satisfaction of members of the public. In conclusion, the Zambia Police Service, supported by the Minister of Home Affairs and the Internal Security, remains resolute in its commitment to maintaining law and order. Our priority is to ensure the safety and security of all citizens and to uphold justice. I want to assure members of the public that we shall do everything possible within our means to ensure that there is public safety in this country. There is no need to live in fear. The Zambia police will do everything possible to provide security to, to Zambians working together with the security agencies. All what we are requesting members of the public is to work with the Zambia Police Service and the other security agencies to ensure that the security of the nation and the security of the people of Zambia is secured. For the time being, I can assure you that the security of the nation and the security of Zambians is secured. Thank you so much, my colleagues. I'm available to answer questions on this particular matter. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. So, shall we have three questions in a row to allow the Minister to respond? So, may I see the first question? Okay. Yes. Please yes. introduce yourself and then. Uh, uh, good afternoon, Honourable Minister. Yes. Uh, my name is Oswald Kapwanta from Prime TV. Yes, please. Uh, in your statement, you alluded to uh, the fact that uh, the Ministry is going to work to remove criminal elements in the police service. I'd like to find out what system are you going to use exactly to separate uh, those who have criminal minds from uh, the ones who are professional? Thank you. It will not be in the interest of the nation for me to start disclosing 
the measures were going to take place, to take rather. Because if I review the, you know, the measures we are taking, we are going to take, they will take precautionary measures. So it is not in our interest to do that. But definitely we will be doing something to root out rogue elements within the system. Yes, sir. Another, another question? Okay. Is it going to, anybody else? Okay, then let's go on that one. Yes, please. I just want to get to your reassurance to whistleblowers and uh, even the senior government officials who are determined to fight corruption of their safety. Looking at the recent talking of the minister. Just your reassurance. I would like to uh, assure whistleblowers or any other person who will be working with us to ensure that uh, we provide security to the nation, that we will provide security and uh, secrecy pertaining to the information they will be giving us. It is in the interest of the Zambia Police Service and other security agencies that we protect those who will be giving us information. And we have been doing so. I can, I can tell you that some of the information that has led to resolving a number of cases have been coming from members of the public. And we have not been disclosing their identity. It is our responsibility. And in the event that the, their identity is disclosed by other people, we will be there to provide security for them. Good afternoon. You say that this murder is a sophisticated and Zambian. Uh, are you, what are you doing to make sure that your men in uniform are up to date to deal with such matters? Well, as I indicated uh, earlier, this mode of criminality is unusual in this country where people are hired to kill others. It's not usual. Obviously, you know, we have been collaborating with other agencies in the world. We are members of the International Group of uh, Police Services. We learn best the practices from uh, other institutions. We always, you know, ensure that uh, our men and women in uniform are capacitated through training in to ensure that they detect no crimes in the country. Currently, we are collaborating with the, you know, the police the service of uh, the United Kingdom, who have been training our police officers in dictating uh, dictating crime. And we have no doubt in our minds that uh, a lot of our officers are now experienced in handling you no know, such matters. From what we have uh, achieved so far, I can safely say a number of our officers are qualified enough to investigate similar matters. Thank you.